a mackerel invertebrate. Let's break down the word into two chunks. The first part is macro. Have you ever used a microscope in school? It is a tool that you use to look at small things. Micro is the opposite of macro. So that means macro means big or something you can see with just your eyes. The next part of macroinvertebrates is vertebrates. I want you to go on the middle part of your back and trace your finger down the middle of your back. Feels kind of bumpy, right? Well, those are your vertebrae that make up your backbone. So macro invertebrates is something that doesn't. Like, have you ever heard of the word inappropriate? It is something that's not appropriate. So that's the in part of our word. Put it all together, macro, something that's big, in, that doesn't, vertebrates, which means it does not have a backbone. One of the first things that you need to do with your critters is separate them so you can get a closer look. So this is where the spoon comes in really handy. See a critter and put them into a container. Some macroinvertebrates might need a bigger container. We have separated all the different kinds of macrovertebrates into their own little bug hotels, their rooms. Now try to figure out what we are looking at. Scientists use what is called a dichotomous key, which is a series of yes or no questions to figure out what you're looking at. So let's pick a one of our macroinvertebrates and let's figure out what it is. Let's go with this one. The first question, remember, is does our macroinvertebrate have a shell? No, it does not. The next question is does our macroinvertebrate have legs? Is it worm-like or more insect-like? And yes, it does have legs. The next question we have is how many legs does it have? How many pairs of legs? One, two, three, four, five, six legs I count. So that means three pairs of legs. The next question is wings. Is it a beetle? Nope, it does not have a hard kind of shell on its back. The next one is, does it have leathery wings? And if you look closely, yes, it does. Looking at our dichotomous key, there are a lot of options we can choose from. So that means we have to do a little reading on the characteristics of our macroinvertebrate. So the first macroinvertebrate on the list is the marsh treader. It is not a marsh treader. The second one is a water strider, and it says dark lives on the surface. Our macroinvertebrate is a little bit lighter, and once again, it dives down, so it is not a water strider. Next, we have the giant water bug, and it says grasping front legs, and it can be up to three inches. Let's see those front legs. Are they grasping? I'd say yes. So out of our list, which one is it? Yep, it's a giant water bug. Now that we have gone through the steps, now it's time for you to go through it and see what you can find. 